On this video, you'll see how to add timestamps to YouTube videos. Top of the morning to you guys and welcome back to another video. A couple of weeks ago, YouTube started testing a nifty new formatting feature that makes lengthy videos somewhat easier to navigate. This new feature is called Video Chapters and what it does is that it allows you to jump to different parts of a video using just the slider in the YouTube player. Well, it takes the same timestamps from a description and then transforms them into different segments which are visible on the slider and if you hover over a section or a chapter, it reveals the name and its duration. It's pretty easy to get this set up and there are a couple of steps to follow to make sure that they show up on your videos properly. So without any further ado, let's jump right to the video. So this is how it works. Firstly, you need to have a starting timestamp with three zeros to start the video off. Next, the other timestamps must come after this in the description and in chronological order. You can have as many lines about other random stuff between them as you like. This stuff won't be picked up on. And lastly, the timestamps need to have at least three letters describing them, written on the same line, before or after the timestamp itself, but obviously after is better because then all the timestamps line up neatly. If you have a working series of timestamps, it'll update the video within seconds and you'll be able to see it on the time bar like so. By the way guys, if you're enjoying the video, a sub to the channel would be amazing. Also, if you want to opt out of this feature, you just have to change the starting timestamp to 001 from three zeros. Unfortunately, there are a few problems with this. For example, some long videos which are most in need of chapters already has timestamps for music tracks. So there's no way to keep that information and add different chapters to the same video. Or if you have too many timestamps, it might not even show up. That being said, this is clearly a step in the right direction for YouTube. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Peace out.